today is the day I'm officially saying goodbye to my 2015 Z51 Corvette. It's very, very hard to do, but from day one, this car has been nothing but trouble to me. Now, you might look at it and say, wow, you know, this is a beautiful car. But just like reading the out covers of the book in the front and the back, you might like what you see, but when you actually read the book, you don't like it. So in my next video, I'll give an in-depth reason of why I'm letting my car voluntarily be repossessed. The payments on this vehicle, the main reasons why I'm letting it go is one, my payments were $865 a month. I paid $53,000 for the vehicle. My insurance is high as hell despite even being 25 years old. And the gas mileage, if you drive it city and want to have fun with it, is atrocious. So that's the bad about the vehicle. If it was in perfect condition, those are still the bads of the vehicle. I've done a lot to this vehicle, like you can see the black on the hood, the, the little carbon fiber tape on the front. I changed all the emblems on the vehicle to black. I've got the windows tinted. So let me go inside and show you it. This is my final goodbye of the Corvette Stingray. It's a seven speed manual transmission. I'll go and sit inside and rev it so you can hear it. I do have my engine light on. Don't get me wrong, it's a nice car. And I've had two other Corvettes, but this one has been nothing but trouble for me. Again, you have the seven speed transmission, 10 speaker Bose system. You got a V8 with 455 horsepower but again nothing but trouble and in my video that i'll be making following this will show you everything but you see the bows right there it's obviously a two-seater and i'll pop the trunk despite not cleaning it yet you can hear the exhaust from the back i changed this i changed this just pop the hood I'll show you the engine too before I say goodbye. Like I said, it's very messy. I gotta clean it out before it gets repossessed next week. But it's time for a goodbye. I ended up buying a brand new car with a factory warranty on it. So I don't have to deal with those troubles of a car breaking down anymore. Let me pop the hood and show you that real fast. It's a shame that I'm going to let it go and kill my credit. However, I made sure that I got a new car ahead of time before I let it get repossessed. So I got a good deal on my new car. Like I said, V8, 6.2 liter engine, insulated hood, holds up itself and goes reverse style. Take a wide angle view of the car. It's a... Uh, it's hard to say goodbye, but you know what? I stopped paying for it a few months ago. Helped me get a little bit of my down payment back that I put 2K down on the car. So it's not the end of the world, but now I gotta work with a credit card company, try and get my credit back up. Such a pretty car on the outside. I had to go all the way three hours to Daytona just to get that Laguna blue color because the newer vets use a metallic blue, which is a lot darker, which I really don't like. Got the black heated and cooled leather seats. Not that the, the cooled and heated function work too well. Different drive modes. Hope you guys all enjoyed this video. It's really, really hard again to say goodbye, but you live and you learn. We all make mistakes and that was my mistake. So, hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll go an in-depth review of why I allow it to be repossessed voluntarily. Take care, everybody.